Infinity War has a really neat mix of Avengers fighting for good, but you know what? There's someone else in town rounding up a super team to fight evil. Hit it! Deadpool 2 appropriates the X-Force to take on the time-traveling cable. What in the foxical is this? While we do want to take a closer look at its members, we'll leave Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead out of it, because in the end, they will still be more X-Men than X-Force. Hear the music. Domino. Domino is the only female member of DP's new team. She's the result of a secret government project to create the perfect weapon. Apparently the government is not very imaginative when it comes to secret projects. Similar to the Weapon X project that created Wolverine. Domino was the program's sole survivor. Imagine that. But still discarded as a failure due to her powers not matching what the government had in mind for a perfect weapon. After escaping the program, she became an ice-cold merc. In her early days, she already worked with Cable in the mercenary group Six Pack and they were even an item at one point. Later, she joined X-Force and was even their leader for a time. What can Domino do? Simply put, Domino is a really lucky gal. She unconsciously manipulates things using telekinesis so that she's always at an advantage and the opponent is always on the losing end. This ability cannot be consciously controlled and comes to the fore in dangerous or otherwise stressful situations. So it's really just changing one's own luck. In addition, she is an expert shooter and fighter and will most certainly keep DP's foes on their toes. God, I wish I finished college. Bedlam. The second team member is Bedlam, who actually has a super tragic backstory. Orphaned at age 5, Jesse Aronson, Bedlam's real name, went from one foster home to the next and also from one therapist to the next, needing treatment for his emotional outbursts. Jesse later discovered that he had a brother named Christopher, who was responsible for the death of their parents. When Jesse was 19, he hired Domino to find his brother along with the X-Force's help. What can Bedlam do? Bedlam generates a bioelectromagnetic field. This allows him to recognize energy signatures, scan them, and manipulate them. As you can imagine, if Bedlam's around, you might want to hide your electrical appliances. He can also affect a human brain's electric field, inflicting a lot of pain and confusion. I'm afraid! Alright? Shatterstar. We come to, perhaps, the most outlandish X-Force member. Shatterstar hails from the planet Mojo World, where he lived as a gladiator in the arenas of the tyrant Mojo. Can we get on with it? I'm hungry! He has a big connection to Earth, however, being the child of the mutants Dazzler and Longshot. And guess what? Thanks to some time-traveling shenanigans, he is also his own grandfather. Exciting, huh? I'm confused. Because of this gladiatorial career in Mojo World, he was genetically modified, and his DNA was later used to create Longshot. All very simple as you can see, but you know what? This is exactly the kind of messy backstory that Deadpool can take the piss out of. These timelines are so confusing. Maybe in the film, Shatterstar is simply a stowaway in Cable's journey, or maybe, given all the wackiness already going on, this simply just won't be talked about at all. What can Shatterstar do? Shatterstar is endowed with super everything, basically. Strength, speed, you name it. Having fun. He was, after all, engineered to be the perfect killing machine. And of course, he fights with two swords, which always ups the cool factor. Bring it on one night, Willie. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist is an interesting mutant, the young Axel Clooney, no relation to George, uh. got his skills aged 14, in a way that haunted him and gave him nightmares for a long, long time. What can Zeitgeist do? To put it simply, Zeitgeist can vomit an acid that can eat through almost anything. It can allegedly eat through 10 centimeters of steel in less than 30 seconds. To avoid unfortunate accidents, he wears a mouthpiece made of some unknown super-resistant polymer. As we said before, this ability manifested itself when Axel was 14. He was in Makeout Town with a girl on the beach when an unfortunate accident happened. You know, the sword we mentioned before. This event tormented him for a very long time. But to be sure, an acid regurgitating mutant would be perfect fodder for Deadpool's jokes. I know, right? Peter. Peter is the last, but not least, member of Deadpool's X-Force. He has no powers or special abilities, from a mutant point of view at least, and he's just an average Joe, really. You're in. According to his Twitter bio, he's really into bees, enjoys videos of underwater lava, and uh, have we mentioned bees? Whatever utility he may have in battle remains to be seen. Maybe he can call upon bees to help him? No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! So, which member of Deadpool's X-Force do you think is the best? Are you looking forward to Deadpool 2? Let us know in the comments. Also, for more on comic book films, have a look at these videos.